Hey guys, Sean here. Um, this is me loading into a new world. Thought I would. Well, hey guys, start a new let's play. I know it's been a while, but wanted to um jump in. And as you can see, I'm doing hardcore, so this could be essentially me playing for one day, doing a series for a hundred, a thousand. Who knows? When I die. That's it, it's over. I'm definitely not going to say no to sugar cane this early on. So, oh, there's mushrooms over there. Okay. So, I'm guessing that's a mushroom forest. Alright, the first thing I want to find is wool. And we've got sheep. Fantastic. That. Is beautiful and I might as well grab some flowers because I am not gonna have a peasant bed I refuse to have a white bed to be fair I remember when beds were all red uh, come on to be fair I should probably have grabbed some wood I'll do that in a second but like I say it's a series that when it's over it is over I do not intend to let well drag it out. I have no idea what I want to do for it. It's just a case of I want to see how long I can actually survive and improve my skills. I did try a hardcore world before starting this up, just single player. And I died in about five days because I fell through the floor into a Spider spawner. Yeah, I found a dungeon. Uh, started attacking the spiders, and a creeper came up from behind and nuked me. Not my smartest move. So I'm just going to quickly grab some wood. To be fair, I'm going to want seeds as well. N not seeds. I've got seeds. Uh, saplings. That's the word I'm looking for. I was going to say tree seeds. Technically would be right, I suppose, but that's neither here nor there. And am I actually picking up any sound from the game? I am. Awesome. Wasn't sure. So this is actually quite a nice little spawn. So I guess I've got. A Dark wood forest over that way where those mushrooms were. Either that or a swamp. Um, pumpkins, always a nice star. Sugar cane. And I think I want to set out next to the shoreline because I usually like. But I've got a little idea that I want to try. Um. And that's a fish out of water. Literally. Ooh. Um, we've got a warm ocean, so we've got coral. I'm really liking this spawn. So I'm going to need to find somewhere where I want to set up shop. Oh, no, that's that forest. To... There's n no trees. Hold up. No. No. <laughs> is that what I think it is? Please tell me that's what I think it is. Um. Hi, Piggy. You will die soon. Um. You know, while I'm here, I may as well create my bed now. Oh, can I not dye brown wool? Lovely. Right, okay. Maybe not then. Oh, wait, but I did see... I did see some more sheep. So I'll quickly craft a bed. And then I want to have a look. See if that is what I think it is. If it is, I've got food problems sorted on day one. Which I'm never going to say no to. 
And the biome that I've seen literally once. I think it's actually the rarest biome in the game. And if I remember, hostile enemies can't spawn. Hostile enemies as opposed to friendly enemies. Hostile mobs can't spawn on it. Right. So, put that in there. And make myself a... Wooden bed. And that looks like a shipwreck there. Hostile enemies. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at my own stupidity. Um, There. That's what I'm looking for. That is what I am looking for. Can I place that down? I can. And do you know what? In case it is what I think it is. Why am I being such a dunce? Right. And I instantly dismount. Because I'm a genius. I think it is. Holy sh... Wow, okay. Oh, oh, wow, those are, those are mushrooms. Oh, sorry, mushrooms. It is, it's a mycelium biome. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Yes, moo to you too. Okay. I am happy with that. Right. That's a fair bit better. Yep, I'm definitely going to want to stop thinking about temporary base. Now, I am playing on the snapshots. So, as you can see... I no longer have iron or when I harvest iron, I get the iron, uh, well, the raw iron, which is a nice change. Now, unlike when I was playing it last time in the last series, I will be recording everything I do. Most of it is going to get cut out in editing, but I'm recording everything I do. For one simple reason. I'm an idiot. I am going to die in a stupid, stupid way. It's guaranteed. Especially with the way I play. <laughs> I mean... I fell into lava in the never exploring a bastion. And couldn't get out. And then think, ooh... I've got a fire resistance potion. Why don't I drink that? So that sums up what kind of idiot I am. So I will die at some point. It's just a case of how and when. And one thing that I'm glad I'm not going to be experiencing on this computer eh, compared to the PS4 is single player lag, which I got quite a lot on PS4. Um, yeah, that is way too far. However, if I smelt that raw iron, I'll be able to make a bucket. I like how my priority is a bucket. Just so I can fix my mistake easier. Oh, is that dripstone? Fantastic. Okay, I'm happy about that because I know that you're meant to be able to, uh, what do you call it? Duplicate lava with that. Which means everything apart from, um, what do you call it? Diamond. 
is now a renewable resource, technically. Uh, iron. Since if I get, uh, if I find a zombie spawner, actually, flint isn't either. Since if I find a zombie spawner, I can grind out iron nuggets and gold nuggets. What did I do with the other one? I had two, didn't I? Oh, there. Wow. I am a moron. I forget where I place things literally seconds after I place them. So what have I been doing? Why have I not been uh, recording? Well, I've been spending a lot of time streaming after I finished my job. I lost, well, I lost my job due to the pandemic. Um, managed to get a new one, and I've been focusing quite a lot on that. Right, so here I've got the essentially blueprint of what I want well what I want for a starter base which is going to come back which isn't going to be used for long uh, so the entire point of this little starter base that I've got the blueprint there for is to eventually become a um, entrance to the main base which I've got planned for. Just looking at this biome, I've got a little plan. Uh, where do I want the entrance though? If I stick the entrance here and one here. You know what? I'm going to have to build up the shovel, I think. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because I can easily expand this down. My plan's going to be to build under the water, build a tower coming out of the water, or some kind of structure coming out of the water, which will connect to the mushroom biome here, and also extend out towards that shipwreck and the... Uh, warm water biome where the coral reef is uh, tropical ocean that's the one and with any luck oh, well we've also got the tropical ocean biome there as well there will be a what do you call it ocean monument nearby so I'm just going to build this up just initially out of wood like I say, this is very, very, very temporary. Like, it's going to be a case of, as soon as I've built this up, I'm going to be starting working on building out to the... This is more so I don't get attacked by creatures coming home, realistically. Uh, and knocking over a can of energy drink. Not good. Well. There we go. Got some more wood. Right. And fill that in. That's really dark. Don't want mobs to spawn in it. Like I say, as you can see, it is hardcore, so I am going to have to be careful. Oh. And I should probably have used Nax for that, but yeah, well, what's done is done. Right. So, Furnace, first and foremost, place you there. Crafting bench, place you there, and bed, place you here.
Hmm. I was not expecting to see that. I've not seen one of these before. These are the new glow squids. Do they drop anything interesting? Come here. Come here, squiddy. Did it drop anything unique? Glow squid ink sack. What does that do? Oh, a glowing item frame. Interesting. What would be nice is a like, glowing die or something. And while I've got resources smelting, I want to go and check out this biome properly. See if there's anything interesting to see on it. See if there's any kind of interesting landmarks. I mean, already we've got that uh, entry, that little weird cliff. But also want to get an idea as to the size of it as well. Interestingly, it seems there's a lot of straight, almost sheer cliffs. And it's been such a long time that I forgot that mycelium had a particle effect. Now, if I remember, enemies like uh, zombies, creepers, etc. can't spawn in this biome. Whoa, okay, I was expecting it to be a small biome. This is actually sizable. I definitely want to set up a mushroom farm on it. Ah, uh, there's a ravine over there. Ow. So yes, I definitely want to set up a little mushroom farm. Because mushroom soup is going to be a great food source, let's be blunt. Well, to an extent, the fact that it keeps the wooden ball. Uh, that is a sizable ravine as well, decent ravine. I wonder if I can do something with that. Probably not, but plans. Ooh. And on the other side, we've got a desert. That would have been handy to know when I wanted the um, glass a few moments ago. But it means I can get cactus. And... There's a savannah biome over there by the looks of it. I mean, they look like acacia trees. And I wonder if in the first episode I can find diamonds in some kind of... What do you call it? Temple. I know my words. I don't want to oversaturate this episode with stuff. But I'll... Yeah, it is definitely Savannah. Fantastic. And I've just realised I haven't seen a village yet. Is that a village? That's a village. I love speaking and things appearing. 
and I heard a bat, so there's a cave underneath us somewhere. The problem is I don't like deserts because of... Is it other husks? I mean, they were my biggest problem in the last series I had. Oh, oh, oh. And what is in here? Blast protection. Nice. A mending gold sword. Interesting. I'm definitely not going to say no to that. If I could get Unbreaking 3 on it, it might be a useful sword. And there's one last thing I want to check. I wonder if there is a village. No, not a village. A blacksmith in the village. A village in the village. Of course there's a village in the village. Oh, and I'm going to need to eat my other mushroom soup. But that is a very nice uh, find for the first episode, a mending sword. Like if it was a mending diamond sword, it would be even better. Ooh, it's a decent sized village as well. I mean, they've got a golem. Is that I just stole? Melon! Okay, this has turned out to be a very nice first episode. Oh, anything interesting? Don't mind if I do. I am going to have to spend one night here. Oh, wait, that's not. Okay, beetroot seeds. Beetroot's not the uh, most impressive veg, but it's better than nothing. I really want carrots and potatoes, though. Just fill up with all the different... Um... Right, that's more beetroot. Oops, accidentally destroyed the, um, the farm plots. Okay, so it looks like there is no blacksmith in this village, which is a shame. As I was hoping to maybe steal a diamond sword from them. But never mind. Okay, so while I was away, I, well, mined a little bit of iron in the mushroom biome yes, last night. Um, came back to a fully mined out, and I can hear a skeleton, fully mined out, uh, not mined out, fully smelted stack of What the? Oh god, no. I miscount it. That is bad. That is seriously bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, I've got mob group for now because, well, I do not want, um, Enderman just to completely destroy the nether. Um, <laughs> that scared the life out of me. Yeah, we'll 
go. That's like that. And uh, just gonna start mining into here. Oh, oh, oh. I think the hard part is gonna be there. Okay, so I didn't miss count. The depth? Did I? No, I did not. Fantastic. Right, so I'm going to have to use sand to block that out, I think. Um, but yes, I am going to start work on this and I will be back once I have done. And why did I... Oh shoot, that is not good and... Almost uh, screwed up in a way that I don't think I could have recovered from. So I thought to end up this episode, I would, well, show what this looks like from underneath and explain a couple of plans. So I'm going to light up the cave underneath for a start, but I eventually want to replace all this with sea lanterns to get rid of the, exactly which, to get rid of the torches. And let's see what this looks like from above. I might even alternate like uh, quartz with um, sea lanterns. Depends how it looks. But oh, from above, let's see how far out I've went. And that farm plot's grown quite nicely. So from above. But it is looking quite nice. To be fair, I could probably have uh, mined out. But yeah, that would be nice once it's all lit up. And once I reach this right over here, I'll probably um, start looking at building upwards out of the ocean i mean it's a decent way out i might wait to see if i can get to that but yeah that is the plan so far so until the next episode i will see you guys later on and i don't mean to keep going underwater bye